Welcome to you, my name's Dale and this is Dale's Addiction. Today I am bringing you a much requested video which is how I apply my done but undone style to the work environment and um, it's actually come at a good time for a couple of reasons. One, I have changed up how I run my business a little bit and I am branching out and doing some retained services for one organization for the next six months, which is really exciting. So I'll actually feel like I'm part of a team instead of flying solo all the time. And the other reason, and that actually starts in a couple of days, so it's been good to actually go through and have a bit of a look. And the other reason is that Zimoni have uh, kindly offered to reignite our relationship um, and continue on our collaboration with me getting a very generous discount on Zimoni bag inserts simply by reviewing the one that has been gifted to me on my channel. And I chose to get an insert for my new Hacker Project Balenciaga Gucci this is not a Gucci bag tote because this is going to be one of my workhorse bags this year. So I thought it all works well together. Why not pull it together? Now, the star of this video is me, huh? No, the purpose of this video is really to show you how I think through my work outfits when I have the time to think through them. It probably doesn't look like I have done much, but there's a couple of little rules that I apply and I did a series of videos last year in 2021, which I'll link in the description box below if I can find them, where I kind of unpack my style in relation to my hair and makeup, in relation to my how I dress myself and in relation to my designer handbags. So... In going through all that, um, there's a couple of rules that came out and I've put a few outfits together, especially for this video, which I will show you and I'll just take you through some of the rules, I guess, that I've applied to putting them together. Okay, so the first outfit that I want to take you through, you'll notice that there's a lot of dresses in my workwear wardrobe and that's primarily because when you've got to travel, and technically I've got to take materials and things with me. I just need an outfit a day and I could pack a lot of things. And so I find that dresses are an outfit. And in winter, I pair them with an ankle boot and tights and a blazer. And in summer, I can pair them with a court shoe or a dressy sandal. So they really are easy and most of them are crinkle free and in saying that when you see some of these outfits I've pulled them out of that really squished up wardrobe. I didn't have, I didn't take the time to steam them because I just wanted to get them out so I could film this video. Uh, so please, the undone style does not mean being fully crinkled up. <laughs> I might be fully crinkled up, but my clothes won't be. Uh, so please excuse any crinkles that you see. All right, so the first outfit that I'm going to share with you is this um, green midi dress. Now, I bought this dress last year from Witchery, and I'm excited to see that this forest green color is continuing on into 2022. All of the new releases that I'm seeing from our high-end brands I suppose you're calling so so when I say high-end I'm saying you're paying about $250 for a dress um, so not high street but not designer either um, it's all this forest green and some really lovely jewel tones so I was tempted to buy a skirt and a top and I went no I've got this dress I don't need to repeat it so this dress is a great one and I have teamed it with my um, Bottega Veneta Maxi Intrachado belt. Um, now that just gives it a little bit of an edge but there's no branding there. Okay and you can see I'm wearing um, a pair of open-toed sandals which are quite like they've got an interesting shape about them. The heel on those is about seven centimeters so they're 
very comfortable to wear all day, especially in an office environment when you're not standing all day per se, but you do need to be able to get around, move from the train station or your car park um, to the office and so on. So you need to be comfortable, but you want to look chic as well. Now, um, I have also paired this with my Hacker Project bag, um, which I'm so excited to be wearing this one for work. And you can see that when I show this one in the video, I can wear it in the crook of my arm and I can wear it on my shoulder with this dress as well, very comfortably. It's actually more comfortable than the Neverfull on the shoulder for me. I think the strap drop is slightly longer. Um, and the other thing I can do when I'm commuting, if I want a little bit of an edge, is I can show that graffiti and it's a bit of fun and you would never know that I'd just been to work for the day. So one of the rules that I've applied here is something that doesn't quite belong. Uh, and that's something in this particular video, uh, in this particular outfit, the belt kind of edges up the dress a bit. Otherwise it has a self-tie belt, so a fabric belt in the same material as the dress. And the bag. Um, and that's how I think accessories work. Also, my hair looks a little bit disheveled. Um, that's kind of my style. That's how I roll. And so I really um, think that that's a great example for me of an outfit that fits into a you know, corporate business casual environment um, without breaking any rules, but also being a part of my style. So the other thing that I wanted to raise is that when I was thinking through these outfits, um, if you're somebody who doesn't like wearing your luxury handbags to work, one of the things that I thought might work really well is simply to carry the same bag for the whole week. So given that I will be turning up every week for the next six months, not just turning up, but doing work, um, I thought it would be interesting if anyone really noticed that I was carrying a different handbag for two days a week. Um, and so it might be more noticeable if every other day I wore a different bag. So the rule that I've applied is if I want to switch my bags out, that um, I'll do it on a weekly basis rather than on a daily basis, which is what I do when I'm wearing my casual bags. So this next outfit that I'm sharing with you, it's a black dress from Seed and it has like a flooded sleeve. So when you take it off, there is a sleeve. I didn't video me taking um, the, when you take it off, <laughs> when you take the blazer off, um, I didn't video the sleeve, but it does have a nice um, frilled sleeve and a tip that I learned from an Instagrammer from somewhere is if you've got a sleeve on a dress and you feel like it's going to add bulk under your blazer, you just flip the sleeve up. So you kind of turn it inside out over your shoulder and it gives you a nice sleek arm line instead of having bunched up fabric in your arm. So there you go. Now with this outfit, you can see that I've paired it with a long pink blazer and I haven't put a belt on with this dress, so I've left it kind of free and easy, but I've turned the cuffs up on the sleeves of the blazer, which, you know, is a nod to the undone style. I have kept the Balenciaga Affidia bag. I keep going to call it Gucci because it looks like a Gucci bag, but you guys know what I mean. And then again, I've dressed it up with these Roger Vivier, Belle Vivier trompette pumps. I have four pairs of these shoes. These are the patent nude color. I have to say the patent are not my favorite in terms of comfort. The, um, the just, what is it called? Just the leather style are way more comfortable because they mold to the shape of your foot. The patent takes a little while to warm up and mold to your foot. So um, if you are in the market for those shoes and you like comfort, I would suggest steering clear of the patent. I've got a black pair, which you'll see a bit later on, and um, <laughs> they are very worn in and they are comfortable now. But, you know, some work went into that. All right, the next outfit you'll see is the blue and black floral dress. Now, I've changed my bag. I have paired this with a pair of black chunky gladiator sandals and my Chanel GST. I have also put my hair back in a low bun so that it kind of looks done but undone. So walking through the office, you're not going to have your handbag with you. Um, so you are going to look fairly kind of undone in this one, but I think the dress pulls it together. I think having nice um, accessories pulls it together. And yeah, it's a favorite look of mine and you could easily switch that up a notch with those sandals that I showed in the first outfit. 
That dress was from Veronica Main. I think that was from a couple of years ago now. It's got a black slip underneath. It's actually quite warm because of the fabric that it's made out of. So it's good for those chilly offices and you wouldn't need to carry a blazer with you. And then the next outfit in this set is another black dress. This one's also from Seed. Um, and it has a quite a long tie wrap around with kind of a fluted A-line skirt. It looks really lovely. It's got a smocked sleeve so you can push it up your arm, which, you know, lends itself again to the undone style. Um, I have paired this one with uh, my Chanel GST, but you'll notice that I've also added a Valentino leather studded bracelet. And that's just to give it a little bit of edge because it was looking a little bit the low bun at the back and another pair of my favorite shoes. These ones are the lilac that I bought last year from Roger Vivia and they just bring the whole thing up and add a bit of playfulness. And if you know me, you know that I love bringing some playfulness into my look. Now the final look that I've got here in this set of outfits, and then I'm going to take you through some Instagram ones, is a pants look. Now for me, pants are a bit tricky because I've got quite a wide hip and a lot of business pants, I, I need them to be a cropped length to make me look taller. Um, and I find that they just fit weird around the hip. They're either too low or they're really high waisted and then I end up having this big poofy part in the front of me, which is not a good look either. So I, um, I tend to be a bit different in terms of the pants that I wear. Now, these pants, you wouldn't know it, but these are a linen pant. They're like a linen jogger pant. And I have often worn those um, to work. And sometimes I wear them with a blouse. Sometimes I wear them in this look with a t-shirt that I'm wearing now. So this is kind of a linen cotton blend t-shirt. So it's a higher quality t-shirt with this linen blazer. And a little nod, um, this is from the Paris Hamburg collection. Um, and I bought this one pre-loved. But a little nod to Chanel, which is just that high-end piece, but a bit cute and funny. And no one would really know. Kind of matching outfits here. The sailor from... from um, Deville, I think. Uh, and then you can see I've elevated the outfit by adding those Roger Vivia pumps. I was wearing my Neverfull with this outfit in the um, in the little cutaway that I showed before. I love my Neverfull MM. I'm not sure the GM's for me for work. I think it's a bit big, but I am waiting on an organizer that I have purchased from Zamoni to come for that bag to see if it changes my mind on whether or not it works for me. So this is kind of, these are examples that I've just pulled together of my done but undone style for work. Now, if I go through my Instagram from last year, there are a few work outfits that I want to show you that I think, uh, you know, are interesting in terms of reference. I'm just waiting for them to load up. For some reason, my... Wi-Fi, I think a lot of people in the area have had really bad Wi-Fi here lately, but um, it's very, very frustrating. Okay, so um, I've got an example here of me wearing the blue dress with my Chanel Jumbo, so obviously I didn't need to take my laptop that day with the sandals. So you can see that one um, put together, and I'll put these on the screen over here so that you can see them. Um, the other opportunity that I have to kind of shift a casual outfit into a work outfit is this bright green dress from the Whistles. Um, and I think that I could uh, pair my Chanel GST with that um, and that would look fantastic. I've got a couple of examples that I'll just put here of workwear outfits that I've worn where I've worn these pieces interchangeably. Yep, okay, I've got another one of the green dress here as well with the Chanel GST. One look that I really did enjoy last year and I will wear this year when it starts to get a bit cooler because it's too hot at the moment is my leather skirt uh, for work, of the leather A-line midi, and I'll put a picture of that up in here as well. I think that works really, really well. A couple of other examples is this really loud paisley dress that I paired with a leopard print belt and my um, Neverfull, and that was kind of a clashy workwear look that I really quite enjoyed. I've got a picture just from the top half up of 
me wearing kind of a preppy look so I've got a long black blazer here I've got a black and white striped sweater with a white shirt and the tails hanging out underneath and some black pants um, again done but undone just having those the tails of the shirt hanging out and again with a pair of cropped pants and a pink vest over the top with my blazer GST and Roger Vivier trumpet pumps so there's some examples of how I do done but undone but I um I had been also requested to tell you what bags I recommend for work and to be honest finding work bags that I like that kind of fit how I want to use them and what I want to carry was really hard and also things that kind of suit my aesthetic and I feel like I've got a pretty good work bag collection now if anything I would I sold my Prada double tote recently and I would actually repurchase that um, but it's a lot of money it's like four and a half thousand dollars um, I think I picked it up for two thousand less than that and I sold it for five hundred I felt like that was fair but a lot of people said to me that was too cheap editing Dale here Steph from handbag holic actually did a video just recently that I've just watched reviewing work bags to hold laptops both the 13 inch and the 16 inch so I will link her video in the description box down below if you are seeking work totes I'm going to show you this Simone organizer and what I pack for work I think that if you've got a big tote and um, something that I learned from using my Neverfull GM this one I used it with my smaller um, MM organizer and it just didn't work there was too much space and things whirling around everywhere I just found there's not enough organization in it um, especially for a work bag to be able to grab the things that you need you know you need to be able to grab your airpods when you're commuting your go card or whatever your public transport card is that you use your sunglasses whatever like it needs to be easy you don't want to be just rummaging through and taking up time so for me it was really important to get an organizer for this bag if I was going to use it for work because I have used it without an organizer and it drove me batshit crazy to be honest <laughs> so Simone um, sent me this organizer I chose the color this is for the Gucci Affidia tote, which my bag is, um, and this is beaver brown. <laughs> um, and I chose it because the inside of my bag is pretty dark brown. So a couple of things that I really love about <laughs> organizers like this. There's a huge slip pocket down one side. So I can actually stick my Remarkable in that slot there and it's got its own space inside of the organizer which is great. It's not going to intrude on this center space here which is going to be filled up with all sorts of goodies. The cute thing that Zimoni do is they send you a little thank you note and it's not the first time that they have sent me an organizer um, and I just think those little touches are really beautiful. It's like a beautiful little rice paper. Um, saying thank you and we hope you love it and you're the reason that we're around um, so this is the first kind of useful organizer I've gotten and I say useful because the other ones I bought primarily for storage for my um, Fendi baguette which I'm doing a mini review on shortly and also for my Chanel 19 so I'm gonna pack this one in and just show you what I would take and um, yeah okay hopefully you can hear me you can see the microphone over there so make sure you can uh, hear me as best as possible let's organize this bag so inside of this bag we literally have one zipper pocket at the back and one kind of shallow slip pocket at the front so I'll show you what the organizer has in terms of organization it's got a couple of external slip pockets on the outside here and it's got that really large one here for um, you know a tablet or remarkable whatever you want to put inside it's got two fairly large pockets it's got a water bottle holder um, or I like to use these for my sunglasses sometimes and then you've got a couple of slip pockets on the inside and this little thing I really don't know what anyone uses these for um, but yeah I don't I don't know why of why that's there <laughs> so uh, let's pop this one in and you can see that it fits inside the bag beautifully and I what I've learned is that's really important after telling you the story using my Neverfull MM organizer in my GM it does not help one little bit so 
first of all I'm going to start with my laptop this one and I can't show you the other side because it's got my business name on it but this one is just a MacBook and I believe that means it is so this is a MacBook and it's 11 inches. Um, I choose this one because I want the lightest option available. I don't need all that extra processing memory. And if I do, I save everything on the cloud. So um, I find that this is perfect for me and I just have to be really fastidious around where I save things. But it's only 900 and something grams. So it's not even a kilo, which is fantastic if you're looking at managing the weight. Now I can actually fit that one in that little slip pocket down the back which is a great place for it to live or I can slip it behind the organizer and in front of the zipper pocket here so that I keep the organizer free which is what I'm more likely to do. The next thing that I'll add is my Remarkable tablet. I love this thing. Thank you to Vania again for putting me onto it um, because it, I just I wouldn't go anywhere without it now. And it is so much lighter than carrying around a super large agenda with you. So that's pretty much all I need from the tech perspective. Then obviously I'm going to take my phone. I have downgraded to an iPhone 13 Pro, not a Max. So I pop that one into one of those slip pockets on the front there. I'm taking my Bottega Veneta mini wallet and it's got, you know, all my cards and bits and pieces in there. So I'll pop that in the other pocket there. Um, I'm not going to overload this to show you capacity. I'm literally going to show you what I would take because I find it really annoying when people pack these things full just to show what they can take when it's not a true indication of what you would take. I've got my mini pochette from Louis Vuitton and in here I just have all the things that a lady might need. Um, so I'll leave that to your imagination. Some hand sanitizer, some lip product and other bits and pieces. I'm just going to put that into this other slip pocket on the side here. Um, then I have got a couple of random things. I've got my Louis Vuitton six ring key holder. I'm going to need that. So that goes into its pocket as well. Then I have my AirPod Pros. Now they're going to go in the zipper pocket on the back of the bag because that's just an easy place to put them. I am going to take a spare mask with me as I always do because you just never know what happens. You might lose it or it might get dirty or damaged or what have you. I've got my car key. That's going in the back zipper pocket too because that's keyless entry. I have got my little Louis Vuitton pencil case. I don't use a lot of pens, but sometimes I have to. So in here, I tend to take a highlighter pen with me. I've got a pair of earphones that plug into my laptop just in case my AirPods go flat. Um, a Sharpie and some friction pens that I can erase as well as one nice pen if I do need to sign anything. And so I'll put that one down on the base of the organizer. Sometimes I take this Bluetooth um, keyboard because it's very handy uh, to have a Bluetooth keyboard when you're working on a laptop so I just will put that in backwards like that so it sits in there. I've probably got a bit of bit too much weight in the back of the bag so I'll move the laptop to the front. I still haven't used the two slip pockets here and I don't think that I will. I've got my business card holder. This is an old Henry Bendel favourite and these slip pockets are so big that that fits in next to my keys. I've got a packet of mints. They're going to go in just in the base there. <laughs> it feels like uh, the Mary Poppins bag. And then I will throw in um, either a bottle of water or a bottle of water. This is my Mimo bottle. This is the A6 size. It's perfect for just grabbing and when you're walking around the office um, you can have one hand to hold the stair rail if you need to um, and then you can just grab your laptop notebook and your drink bottle like that and I find that that sits in perfectly upright like so and then I just put my sunglasses in the drink bottle holder and I'm done and I can still close the bag with that magnetic latch she feels heavy but she looks good like she looks so structured because the organizer is keeping everything together now imagine trying to get in here and try and find all this stuff if you didn't have the organizer in here well you don't have to imagine because i have and it was chaos 
So I feel super organized. Um, this is no surprise because I've used these before. If you are looking for an organizer for your work tote or you've thought, what's the big deal? I don't need one. If you carry what I carry and you want to find it easily, um, I'd absolutely recommend these Zamoni ones. I think if you want to pack your lunch, you know, you could put a lunch box on top of there as well. I think it's great that they only go about two thirds of the way up the bag. So you could even throw a scarf on top. So on those cooler days, you could just throw a scarf on top and uh, it covers up what's in your bag. You can use the, um, the magnetic closure to keep the bag closed. And you know, then you've got everything that you kind of need. So there you have it. That's how I apply my done but undone style. I like to look put together, but I like something to just look slightly out of place. I think it creates a bit of interest in an outfit and it makes me feel more me. There's nothing worse than showing up and trying to perform on your job. And when I say perform, regardless of whether you're standing in front of a group of people or you're just trying to do your best work, it's very hard to do that when you don't feel your authentic self. So... I think there's definitely something to be said for, yep, you should exercise to have a good sleep. Yes, you should eat well, but you should also dress well too and dressing well according to who you are and how you want to show up and how you want to be seen. Um, I think it helps people relate to you. I think it helps you to, you know, see your day out and it helps you to be remembered. And that's kind of important when you're talking about your career. So thanks so much for joining me. Tell me what do you think about uh, the outfits that I've put together and how I think about my workwear wardrobe. What are some of the tricks that you have in terms of putting your outfits together? I would love to know. I usually put out videos on Wednesdays and Sundays. So I will see you in my next video. Bye.